So in October 2013, Scott Jones was leaving a bar in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia, and he was approached and attacked unprovoked by a man that, that he had encountered across the bar. And this man stabbed him in the back twice, and those injuries left Scott paralyzed. Within six to eight months after the attack, um, during his victim impact statement, Scott forgave his attacker much to the surprise of everybody in the courtroom. It is an act that Scott himself has been trying to unpack in his life ever since. My name is Scott Jones. We've been on quite the journey. We started out in a very different place. It's at every stage gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. There's some very powerful elements of the play and one of them is that Scott uh, is actually in the play, not as an actor, not as a storyteller, but as a choir director. The idea of adding a children's choir initially terrified me because I was thinking sometimes children's choir is like you're like holding this feather and you're hoping that this feather does not fly out of your hands, but that's not the case here because they're actually the glue. <laughs> this really important aspect of the show is that all the words are Scott's words. Uh, and Robert, of course, crafted it all together. Ultimately, what I've come to discover in working with Scott is that my notion of what his story was was completely simplistic and an entry point only. A lot of the content in the play is stuff that I really haven't expressed to really anyone in my life. You're not prepared for the show that you're about to see. I just, I've never experienced something so potent and powerful as this production. We are capturing twists and turns in the path of forgiveness.